Hello, and welcome to Parenting Gifted Children for Unit 1, Part 2. I'm Dr. Kritzer, back at you. In the last video, we talked about the context of gifted education in America. Let's take a look at some characteristics now of gifted children. Children who might be identified, who are potentially identified as being gifted, they oftentimes have uh, much larger vocabularies than the average child. They'll talk a little differently. Longer sentences. Uh, they might be more persistent in various things than others. You might notice wide ranges of uh, excitement and then a lack of excitement when they're bored. Uh, they might have a strong curiosity, challenge you. Uh, and they might be thinking or putting things together differently than other children. That's why they need to be taught differently. That's why uh, differentiated instruction is so critical for this population. Many of these children have talents and abilities that need to be tapped into. They might be more creative, more perceptual. They might have physical gifts. They, uh, oftentimes, it's an, uh, I notice that children in the inner city who might have talent uh, in music, might have talent in athletics, might be artistic. Uh, oftentimes, they don't get to develop that because they're in interventions for literacy, interventions for math, and we're not tapping into their talents. Gifted students need to learn something new every day. Every day they need to start from where they are and progress further. If they don't be treated, if they're not treated this way, they will cause problems oftentimes for di discipline wise. They want you to know that they want to be taught differently. And their curriculum needs to be modified. It needs to be accelerated, enriched, more novelty, more sophistication. If you're a third grade teacher and you're only using third grade materials with your kids, it's just as bad for your high kids as it is for your lower kids academically. And, you know, you need to consider what are your children doing in the classroom when they're not being taught appropriately, when the material is not appropriate for them? How do they handle it? What do they, how do they tell you? Do they act out? What are they doing? Uh, what are you providing them with when they're finished with their work and waiting for others? You know, some kids say they'll they'll read ahead. They plan out their day. They listen to music in their heads. Some people just doodle. With all of these apps available today, why are we wasting these children's time? I'm Dr. Kritzer, and I appreciate the passion that people have for education of the gifted. And I do feel they're... Uh, uh, frustration because having taught children at the lower end, I know how inappropriate it is to use grade level materials for children below grade level. It's just as inappropriate for gifted children or children who are higher intellectually, maybe not identified as gifted. I'm Dr. Kritzer. I will be back with you again for Unit 2.